will just take you through uh, the journey. So he has to take the journey through Greenwood. Now, first, a couple of things to say about the hero. This hero completely morphs to reflect how you're playing the game. If you're running along using a very heavy weapon, you'll notice that his arms will develop and can develop more muscles. If you're using more magic, you'll notice that his eyes will become darker. And that means what we're trying to do, we're trying to get it so that gamers can create, no, not create their own naked men, but create their own heroes. And those heroes reflect what sort of player you are. Because that's the first thing about role-playing games. Why should you play someone else's hero? Why not play your own hero? So at the end of Fable, you can look at your character and say, this is what I'm like, and my character is different from your character. So he's just going to... Um, I put some clothes on now. Do you notice the resemblance between Simon here and the main character? There is, um, because he can choose his own hairstyles, he can choose his own beards, he can choose, uh, he can choose when he cuts his hair. All of that, all of that technology, that morphing technology is built in. So, if you've been playing it for a few hours, you'll notice your hero uh, becomes more and more unique. Now, as we're going there. Let me talk a little bit about the combat system. The combat system is based on really simple, easy to pick up, but really, really hard to totally master. You've got things called flourishes in there. Flourishes enable you to pull off special combat moves depending on how experienced your character is. You can combine physical combat, sword play combat with magical abilities. You can uh, combine sword play with range combat in any combination you like, so that halfway through the game your character may look like Cohen the Barbarian. He may be, have huge muscles, the ground may slightly shake as he moves around, but he'd be useless in stealth. Alternatively, you may have used lighter weapons, you may have used ranged weapons, and he'll look more like Bruce Lee. He'll have lots of muscles, won't be so strong, but he can be really stealthy, he can hide in shadows, he can evolve himself as you like the character. And that is all partially down to what you want, partially down to what uh, the way you play the character. That's the first thing. The second thing, you notice in the top left hand corner of the screen, it's just a little gameplay mechanic, there's something called a combat multiplier. And a combat multiplier, what it does is, every hit... Thank you.
Don't worry, huh? What did you do? Choke your enemies to death with your stench? I used to be someone, you know. I was a great warrior. What a repulsive heap of rags. You little snot bag. You know nothing of the world. I swear there's maggots crawling out of him. You little snot bag. You know nothing of the world. I swear there's maggots crawling out of him. You little snot bag. You know nothing of the world. I swear there's maggots crawling out of him. Thanks. Nice. 